Good morning. We've been tracking severe weather in Arkansas this morning, and uh, some good news here is that severe thunderstorm warning that we've been tracking pretty much since 5 a.m. has been finally allowed to expire. As you can see, the thunderstorms have just become disorganized. Some heavy rain and lightning still in there, but uh, we've lost that severe threat. A couple of thunderstorms, or at least some locally heavy rain up around West Plains, not severe there, and then a cluster of some uh, cells to the north of Rawa as well. Uh, we are keeping that severe thunderstorm watch for Fulton, Izzard, Stone, and Sharp counties in north central. Arkansas through 9 a.m. We also have a flash flood watch along and south and east of I-44 through 7 a.m. tomorrow for another two to four inches of rain or more uh, with more thunderstorms rolling through. An enhanced severe risk along and south and east of the interstate today means golf ball size hail, 70 mile per hour winds, widespread flooding and an isolated tornado all possible today. The tornado threat is low and there's a small window for it. The hail and wind threat would be much more widespread. The flooding threat as well. Storms fire up after 12 noon today. Again, I think that tornado window might be a little bit later, probably after three or four o'clock. The flooding threat remains widespread. So the storms today track in the same areas, continuing to pull out of Oklahoma along and south and east of the interstate. That's why we have that heavy rain threat. Things quiet down by this evening and overnight and we'll have more quiet weather as we head through Thursday. And remember, we've got multiple hazards today, so stay weather aware. Joe Warren. We have some medical coverage for you. The U.S. is currently in its worst measles outbreak since it was eliminated from the country 19 years ago. Now it's something to watch out for while traveling, of course. Measles has impacted four U.S. airports this year. Local health officials say the state of Missouri is not experiencing an outbreak yet, but it's still important to update your vaccinations before travel. Okay before you travel, um, make sure and check your vaccination status. Um, vaccinations are the gold standard of public health. They're not perfect, but they are um, the best uh, means we have to protect ourselves. That was Kendra Finley there. She says practicing respiratory etiquette goes a long way. There is are those are things like sneezing and coughing into your elbows. She's also stressed that our hands are the most common way to spread disease. So be sure to sanitize and wash them often. Cox and Mercy Hospitals will take part in a statewide Ebola drill today. That's in partnership with the State Department of Health and Senior Services. The hospitals will test protocols for how to keep a suspected Ebola patient isolated. The workers will also look at how to protect themselves and keep the public safe from any potential spread of Ebola. The only abortion clinic in Missouri could be closed by the end of the week. The state is threatening to not renew the St. Louis Clinic's license. Planned Parenthood says the license expires on Friday. If that isn't renewed, Missouri would become the first state without a clinic since 1973. On Friday, Governor Mike Parson signed a bill banning abortions beyond the eighth week of pregnancy with no exceptions for rape or incest. New this morning, summer is almost here with the warm weather. That means we're outside more often. Of so course. are some wildlife and their young. Yeah, the Missouri Department of Conservation says this season the opossum population is booming, which could explain why you might be seeing a few more of them on the side of the road. Hannah Zettel explains, though, what to do if you collide with the wildlife. Possums have unique abilities like playing dead, immunity to snake venom, and even eat 5,000 ticks a season. But a viral piece of advice might be putting them in further danger rather than helping them. Critters like opossums are starting to make their way into more urban areas, crossing paths with humans and risking their lives. An opinion piece posted on the PETA website urges motorists to pull over if they hit a possum and check its pouch for young. The post has over 10,000 engagements on Twitter and has inspired other accounts to post similar messages. Possums are marsupials, meaning they need to remain in mom's pouch to nurse, and according to the Missouri Department of Conservation, would likely die regardless. Francis Scalicki with the MDC says while it's a good thing social media has placed a spotlight on the critters, stopping to check on them can pose a threat. They you know, deserve respect from humans, but in this case of trying to rescue the babies, that's affection that's misplaced. It wouldn't work. And as a result, the best idea of the best course of action is just to let them be and let nature take its course. In addition to further stressing out the Joeys, pulling over on a busy highway is dangerous for you and other drivers. Sklicki also adding transporting and caring for wildlife without proper permits are all signs to move forward and let nature take its course.
All right, Hannah Zettel reporting this morning in our education news as part of Springfield Public Schools back to school grant program. A writing workshop will be held for teachers interested in writing grants for projects next year. The workshop typically draws about 25 teachers or so interested in them. You can they can share ideas for projects and learn how to write those grants. The workshop is today from 3 to 4 p.m. at the foundation office at 1131 Boonville in Springfield. We're putting crime into focus for you now as the Benton County Sheriff's Office is investigating a murder near Lincoln. 21 year old Matthew Rayburn is the victim. No other details have been released, but the department is asking anyone with information about the crime to contact them. And some more local news for you. Senator Roy Blunt will make a stop in Springfield today. He's expected to attend an event at Vital Farms at 830 to discuss job growth around the state and the economy. He will then go to Carl Junction, which you'll recall was hit hard with severe weather last week. Senator Blunt will be there to meet with first responders and emergency management personnel. The State Special Olympics was supposed to begin later this week here in Springfield, but the 2019 Summer Games have been canceled because of tornado damage and flooding in Jefferson City. The organization is headquartered in our capital city. These images of the Training for Life campus show windows shattered during the storm and part of the gym roof torn off. The games were going to be held this weekend at Missouri State University and Evangel, but the board chairman said with the damage and weather, they had no choice but to cancel. Families and coaches will gather at Fast Night Park instead. Today from 3 to 5 in the Royal Oak Forum at the Keter Center, College of the Ozarks will hold a Poverty Research and Action Planning Town Hall. This meeting is a follow-up of the Poverty Summit that they held in February. The top critical challenges that have come from research will be presented, and the study has also looked at data collection from area organizations and focus groups. It's led by a coalition of community members funded by a grant from the Missouri Foundation for Health in order to address poverty in the Ozarks. And a good opportunity with more severe weather possibly on the way. Nixa City officials say they're thrilled to offer weather radios to people who may not have one. Thanks to a grant from the Nixa Community Foundation, the program is targeted toward people with special needs or people who are 65 and older. Radios will be given on a first come first serve basis. To request your weather radio, stop by Nixa City Hall during normal business hours. That's awesome. Weather radios certainly something so that are needed, right? Yeah, absolutely, especially with these overnight threats that we've been having. It gets especially hard to get those warnings, so you need those. Right, because someone who's older or someone who may not have access to social media and watch you guys on Facebook Live needs right. another way to right. get those alerts if they're in their safe space. Yeah, absolutely. And and we'll need a way to get those alerts as we had through the day today. Yeah. Um, we are tracking some strong storms in Arkansas this morning. That threat is dwindling. Now we're looking at another round through the afternoon, multiple rounds of strong and severe storms. There's that enhanced risk. Uh, so just stay, again, weather aware through the day today. Jamie and I will be at it. Uh, more showers and storms today. Finally quiet tomorrow. Ah, it's that, don't <laughs> jinx it, right? Or are we good on that? You feel pretty good about it? Maybe a storm in the morning, but I do oh, think no. the afternoon will be quiet and Friday will be quiet right. too, so. Okay, great. Ah. Nice. There it is. <laughs> All right, thanks for waking up with us on this hump day. We'll have more news and weather updates soon.